Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another ad hoc video. I'm going to try to make this video short and it's going to be about minoxidil sulfate. So in this particular paper by Dr. Ralph Trueb titled quote, efficacy, tolerability, and superiority of propylene glycol free North American witch hazel based solution of 5% minoxidil sulfate for the treatment of female androgenetic alopecia, unquote, Dr. Ralph Treb looks at a population of women who were non-responders, genetic non-responders to regular minoxidil. Now we know that the sulforotransferase enzyme is important in converting minoxidil into minoxidil sulfate. And if you don't have enough of that particular enzyme, then your body won't transport minoxidil into minoxidil sulfate, and thus you won't get that hair growth benefit. Now, it stands to reason that perhaps if you're able to just get minoxidil sulfate into a solution, then maybe if you can deliver that solution, you can possibly turn a non-responder into a responder. And in this particular paper, right, the results are pretty clear. It says, quote, 70% of patients showed observable clinical improvement with this particular topical, unquote, or this particular formulation. And it transformed the non-responders into clinical responders such that you could see that there was some sort of hair follicle stimulation. And 70% of those patients actually had observable clinical outcomes. So you could actually see the hair growing. You weren't getting a sort of vellus hair response. So that's pretty interesting. And if we look at some of the pictures over here, I think there's a good picture here, right? You get a photo trichogram kind of view of what's actually happening to the hair. And you can see in the before and after, if you look at her middle part, it substantially closed by just using the 5% minoxidil sulfate formulation that Dr. Ralph Trueb used. Um, it's actually pretty interesting, right? Look at the density over here in the before in segment C. And if you look at segment D, it's, you know, as, as I'm telling you right now, it's pretty obvious, right? You can see that the hairs are much more dense. They're longer. Um, but also, interestingly, I want to point this out. Her scalp is not the best in quality. You can clearly see it's a bit more inflamed. But that goes to show that even with this woman having, having poor scalp health, the minoxo sulfate is helping her, to some extent, have a better, fuller-looking hair kind of appearance. Now, let's move on to another paper. This paper came out recently, in this year. At the time of recording this video, it is October 5th, 2025. And this paper came out sometime in May 2025. And the title of the paper is, quote, Liposomes Enhance the Hair Follicle Delivery of Minoxidil Sulfate with Improved Treatment of Androgenetic Alopecia. Now, unquote. Now, one thing you have to take into consideration is that minoxidil sulfate is not a stable compound. As soon as you put it in a hydroalcoholic solution, it wants to disassociate and go back to its base form, just being regular minoxidil, not minoxidil sulfate. It wants to go back to being regular minoxidil. So in order to prevent this, you have to have some sort of delivery mechanism that stabilizes the minoxidil sulfate and doesn't make it go back into its base form, or rather slows down the rate of that occurring. And with that being the case, you extend its shelf life. Now with the sulfogen's formulation for my startup company called Follygens, that is F-O-L-L-I-G-E-N-Z.com. We have a lipid matrix liposomal solution where we stabilize monoxidosulfate, sulfate, getting a shelf life of around one year. When you open it, maybe four months, you'll get away with it, but you have to use it. But surely enough, you will be using it upon it being open. So hopefully you do use it in that allotted time. In any case, Going back to this paper, if we look at the diagram over here, we can see that the minoxidil sulfate actually led to some fuller looking hair, good regrowth for the mice. Again, this is a, this is a mouse model. Um, you're not exactly getting, getting a human sort of model over here, but we kind of already have that indication of what happens in humans when just looking at the Ralph Treb paper. And this is at a 5% concentration of minoxidil sulfate. And just in general, when it comes to minoxidil, especially oral minoxidil, the growth you tend to see, uh, the density and the fuller looking hair tends to be a dose dependent response. So that might be the case for minoxidil sulfate. So we have two models over here, a mouse model, right? Using liposomal minoxidil sulfate. And then 
another model over here, a human model, clinical model, using minoxidil sulfate in a sort of lipid matrix solution being that witch hazel oil. And witch hazel oil, so long as you're not allergic to it, you're essentially getting the benefit of a non-drying solution. There's no alcohol in this particular solution. Similar to what we have at my startup company, Phologens, we have liposomal monoxyl sulfate in a lipid matrix. We use no propylene glycol and no alcohol at all. And it has this sort of lightweight finish that supports a clean, polished look, no heaviness, no real residue. Now, we do use botanical plant extracts, but we filter them as much as we can. So there aren't that many sort of things that can cause an allergic response. But if you are allergic to plants, just keep that in mind. Always do some sort of skin test before you try any topical, not just mine, but any topical, to see if you have any sort of a allergic response. But so far, this is a really good solution that we developed. It's not drying. It has phospholipids. It has shea butter in it as well, which is very nourishing to the skin. It helps retain moisture. And right now we have it at a 10% concentration, right? But we also have the 5% concentration over here of the liposomal monoxidal sulfate. So you can go get it. Link in the description below. Go check it out. We can also look at the review titled, quote, Use of Minoxidal Sulfate versus Minoxidal Base in Androgenetic Alopecia Treatment, Friend or Foe, unquote, where it actually mentions a, a, a Switzerland study. And in this particular study, those that use 10% minoxidal sulfate who weren't responding to the 5% regular base actually saw some sort of increase in their hair quality. Around 97.7% actually saw this increase. And the mean treatment period was around four months to actually see this outcome. So it's pretty interesting to note. I'll leave that link in the description below. Now, there is another study here and this study refers to cysteine uptake, or at least what it noted when it came to minoxidil sulfate and its cysteine uptake. Now, how hair follicles typically work, they work by using cysteine to create disulfide bonds that ultimately creates your keratin, or the hair strands that come out of the hair follicle. Now, if you can observe, whether in vitro or in vivo, that after applying some kind of topical solution, to a hair follicle that suddenly it's taking up more cysteine. That means that it tends to be the case that the hair follicle is going to use that cysteine to create a stronger, stronger disulfide bond and therefore better keratin strand production in your hair strands, right? And when that happens, you're essentially having a greater hair weight and better hair follicle hair density, right? Coming the, the number of hairs coming out of that follicle. Now, in this particular study, and I've referenced this study before, it's titled, quote, Minoxo sulfate is the active metabolite that stimulates hair follicles, unquote. We can see that it's noted over here that, quote, dose response studies showed that minoxidil sulfate is 14 times more potent than minoxidil in stimulating cysteine incorporation in cultured follicles, unquote. So that's a pretty interesting point, and it goes to show that minoxidil sulfate might be a thing that you can use when it comes to getting fuller looking hair. Now, again, those studies don't refer specifically to sulfogens. They're not specifically to sulfogens, but we're just, we're just talking about minoxidil sulfate in how it appears in the literature. Again, it's not about specifically sulfogens. However, sulfogens might be something that you can try when it comes to you trying to get that fuller looking hair kind of appearance. So, so right now on the Fologens website, we're actually doing a New Year's sale kind of thing, an end of the year sale. It ends January 1st, 2026. We might extend it to February 1st, 2026. But yeah, you guys can go there, check it out, and maybe even try it out. I know that we have the 10%. It's still in stock. We still have some more coming in, so this number is subjected to go up a bit. And the 5%, unfortunately, it is out of stock. And we might get some more orders in coming from Brazil, maybe sometime around the middle of the month. But there are no promises. So anyway, you guys can go check it out and surely, you know, get on the sale. We went from $85. Now we're selling it at 
$1,000. So try it out and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.